Cape Hatteras National Seashore ORV off-road vehicle permit. Permit type, 10 days. I have to get an off-road vehicle permit. Remember, before you can drive on the beach, you are required to have an off-road vehicle permit. Vehicles equipped with high clearance and four-wheel drive are best suited for off-road driving. Airing down your tires provides more surface area on the sand. Using an air gauge, deflate your tires to 15 to 20 PSI. I have to get an off-road vehicle permit for the off-road driving I want to do. What happened to us? A wild and free country founded on the hate of big government and unjust taxes, and here I am filling out a form and paying 50 bucks to drive on the beach. Easy enough, 50 bucks, not a big deal. I know I make jokes, but it goes to conservation and it keeps you legal. If you wanna off-road in the Outer Banks, you gotta get a permit. With this form, we are legal and we can go on the adventure of a lifetime in the TRX. Piglet is ready. You ready, babe? Here we go. This is a proper, I'm, I mean, I'm talking proper adventure. Off-road, you, you gotta go off-road, you have to go on a ferry. This is pretty cool. Look at the bourbon, look at the bourbon. Very cool trucks down here, I like this. And the further south you go, the cooler and bigger they get, I like it. But the first leg of the journey is basically driving on the one main, so this island has one road. And, and then eventually the road just stops and you have no choice but to take a boat. So. Um, I don't think I've ever been to the end before. The farther south you go, the less people and less houses. But then you get to this area, it's like the last beach house area, and then we're into nothing. Then it gets pretty freaking empty. So we are almost at where we're gonna get on this ferry, and I have no idea what comes after that. What am I worried about? I don't know. It's like, I, it's, just, it's exciting. Taking the T-Rex on a ferry, I can't believe it, but I, I feel like, we are very nearly out of land at this point. First leg of the journey is up. We made it, car ferry. There we are. Really nice. This Beautiful. Is yeah. Look at that one. Holy cow. The girl at the coffee shop yesterday said usually the line is four hours long. Four hours. So like tomorrow on a Tuesday, it's really busy. So she's like, go on a Monday. So. <laughs> this is it. This is. I can't believe we're in the line. This is wild. Hello? We are on the line. There looks like a ferry right there. Yeah, it's leaving. Oh, it's, it's leaving? One, yeah. Okay, we missed it. I think we gotta go adventure. You know, we're gonna be waiting a little while, so why not get out and have a little fun? We go on a ferry. I can't believe this. <laughs> we haven't been on a boat since like a year and a half ago. What's the last one, a cruise? Anthem. I go up to this guy and I say, where do we, what do we do? How do we get a pass? You know, where do we buy a pass? And he said, oh, it's free. It's free? Like, how is like the- a ferry that's an hour long ride, like across the ocean. How does, how is it is free? Is We're moving up, but I'm a little, I don't know if every vehicle in, in this line is gonna fit. I look, that boat's not all that big, I gotta say. I'm not sure, we're moving, but I'm not sure if we're gonna all get on that, but we might have to wait until the next one. If there's one thing I've learned in life, it's that nothing is free. Somehow this is free. We are over water now, babe. Over water, oh my goodness. And that's it, I'm going left, okay? This is gonna be slightly tight in here. Oh wow, this is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit narrow. Holy crap, this is wild. This is really crazy. We are on a ship with the T-Rex. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Gotcha. No idea what that guy said. We're on a boat. We are on a boat in the truck. We're in the truck on a boat right now. Wow, look at that. Easy sailing. No announcements of any kind. No safety briefing, thank That's God. Amazing. Yeah, there's no, there was it just, I didn't even know we were gone. I'm holding on strong to the hog here because she wants to go. Let him 
don't know where she wants to go. I hope we can get out. I want to. I want to get out and like show you guys around a little bit. Oh, this is so crazy. This is so weird to see. Hey, what's up, brother? How you doing? Good. How are you? Do you know oh, who I am? There's no way you know who I am on the ferry. The T-Rex looks absolutely massive on the boat. It's just so weird. Water T-Rex right there. This is awesome. This is the event. This is the kind of stuff I watch on Top Gear, and I've always wanted to do something like this. Now I get to do it. doesn't really seem like that crazy of an experience for the average person who does this all the time for us this is really unique and different you know we don't get to do this I know it's like a normal thing for a lot of people clearly there is a garbage truck on here I'm sure he does it every day pretty wild to put your vehicle on a on a ferry and it goes out in the ocean like it's just it's a weird different thing That's it, <laughs> we made it. Well, that was pretty easy, pretty fun. Didn't cost anything either. Ocracoke Island. Look at that, we're on an island, babe. It's crazy. Here we go. I can't believe we made it. Look at the cute little line of people trying to go back. This so is small. very small. <laughs> you might not think a random island in the middle of the ocean would be a good place to do street racing, but I can tell you this, you could do about the best <laughs> street racing ever on this road. I think I've seen about five cars over 10 miles and it's just flat and straight the whole way man that would be pretty epic not that i would do such a thing because i'm sure it's not legal but i'm just saying if you would if you wanted to you could yeah what the heck here we go the ocracoke pony pasture okay first piggy first goes landmark. on on the boat then she gets to see ponies It feels like we're in a different country now. It feels like we're on a little island island nation. Uh, this is just wild, this is wild. First little town we got into, but there's a lot of activity here, a lot of people. It's a lot so of, cool. Yeah, a lot of places, but it looks like a scene out of a movie. Like it doesn't seem real. It feels like we're in a different country, you know? It's like, it's, it's like truly an island nation. British Cemetery Road. That. I mean, like, this is like McNally's. a cute little surprise after, like, that strip of land. Yeah. With nothing in it. Like, this is so cool. This is, it's, it's like super weird, though. We were traveling for miles with nothing. And we're, we were close to the end of the island. And I was like, all right, I guess this, this is where we go off road. And then this popped up. It's like freaking, it's like a little, a whole little paradise here. I like it. <laughs> little lighthouse. I think we found it. I don't know how to get there, Burritos, but. Burritos, tortillas, quesadillas. Wow, you got your choice of Mexican food here. I have a lighthouse in their backyard, literally in their backyard. No buses beyond this point. Where's it at? Found it. Wow, very, very minimal parking. Very small. Here we go guys, looking at the old, I think the oldest lighthouse here. We found it, the oldest one. It's not very big. I'm no expert, but I feel like we're not on a road to anywhere anymore. I think this is it. I think this is... The road to the ocean. This is re really the end. It doesn't look like it's going to get any more civilized after this. Although, there is a speed limit. Look at this. Wow, this is wild. Oh my god, there's an airplane flying. You see that, babe? Airplane landing. I think you could probably wrangle one. This is actually really cool looking. This is wild. This does, <laughs> doesn't look, looks like we're in Africa. It doesn't really look like North Carolina. Look at that. Look at that down there. Look at that. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. You're swimming in the water and all of a sudden there's a snake there. That's crazy. 
Look at that. We are really in the wild now, by the way. There's snakes. Something huge jumped in the water back there. <laughs> I don't know what it was. We are, this is real adventure time now. Holy crap, that's, that's creepy. Baja, but I think Baja is if we're like jumping. I think mud and sand is where we want to be. In sand mode in the T-Rex. It's sandy, that's for sure. It's gonna be freaking awesome. I don't know exactly what all the different modes do. I really don't know what they all do, but I think they work. You know, when I put the truck in Baja mode for the jump, but not the horrible huge jump, but the reasonable one, it worked. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, we're in deep sand. This is real now though. We are in some deep sand here. Oh, this is very, very soft sand. This is not hard pack. It's not like Daytona Beach. You can't drive on it like this is, this sinks. These ruts are huge. I'd say the T-Rex is doing really well really for not being aired down at all. It's doing so. I mean, this sand is insane. Yeah, the T-Rex is not aired down whatsoever, and it's doing really, really well. Like super good. I don't even know how it's. I don't even know how it's doing this well because it's a heavy truck. Now I guess it is a lot lighter than like the diesel truck, so it's not. Yeah, it's better than that, but it's still very heavy. 